wondering why is Paul changing the packs? There's a simple reason for it, and that is because, and you can ask any magician this, if you perform long enough with cards, your hands start to sweat, which mine are doing profusely right now. Um, once that sweat starts to transpire onto the cards, it then makes sleight of hand just a fraction more difficult. Now, if you're performing in front of a live audience, why would you do that to yourself? You know what I mean? The easiest thing to do is just to keep rotating cards, and you'll see all magicians that I can do card magic will always keep rotating packs of cards. That's the reason. No other jiggery poker at all. <laughs> do you believe me? Okay. I'm just going to freshen up with a bit of a smoke and a drink. Right, I think we can carry on. Okay, what can I show you now? Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of... Um, if, you, if you're going to take up card magic, the thing that you need to be able to do is card control. Um, and card control is, is quite a difficult thing. It's, you've got to spend a lot of time practicing. But um, what we'll do We'll start by giving the pack a shuffle And uh, what I'm going to try and do is Give the pack some cuts first of all And uh, if I give the pack now a special cut Which, well let me just work out this how I'm going to do this because sometimes this can go wrong if I don't do it correctly. So I've got to work out which special cut to give it. Um, I'm not that sure. Tell we'll give it one of these ones. Is that some sort of cut? It's a complete mess anyway. Now, is it a complete mess? Or have I actually just done a little bit of genius? That is the question because if I've done that right, the first red queen should be at the top of the deck. There she is, the Queen of Diamonds. Now I'm gonna leave the Queen of Diamonds on the map for your face, uh, face down just for a second. What I'm gonna do is now try and give the pack another couple of cuts. Now if that's done right, the next red queen should be, there she is, the Queen of Hearts. Fantastic. So I found the two red queens, I've now gotta find the two black queens, but what I'm gonna do is a special cut, which is now gonna get one black queen to come to the top and one black queen to come to the bottom. So we'll start with the bottom one first. So it's a cut that looks a bit like this. There it should be. Oh. Right, okay. Right, so that one hasn't come off, unfortunately. But if I can get a three out of four, this trick has still worked in my eyes. Is it at the top? Oh, okay. Right, so I don't have that one at the top either. Right, I'll tell you what, because I'm a magician, how about I change these into the black queens? Yeah, you already thought I'm going to do that anyway, didn't you? So I'll tell you what, let me go one step further. Let me change these into the two red queens and they can then partner the two missing black ones. Now I'm glad I did that effect because it now means that I've got the four ladies out for you. There are the four ladies. They're going to go down there just like so because I'm going to do another little effect with these ladies. But for the help of this, I need some more cards. So I'm just going to find some right now for you. I need 12 of them to be exact. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And two more, 11, 12. So I'm going to use 12 red cards. And uh, to make sure this trick works, I need to make sure I've got the right numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can count after all. They go on the top. Now, this trick, you need to watch really, really carefully because it really does use the four queens. And these four lovely ladies are gonna be the most trickiest thing that you've ever seen in your life. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna leave the four queens on the map for you, just like so. And then we're ready to begin. Now, for each of these ladies, what they do like is the company of men. And we have 12 men here to share between the four. So each lady now gets three men. So three for that lady here, three for the lady here, three for the lady here, leaving three final men for the lady up here. And now we're ready to begin. 
So the idea is, of this effect is to try and get these three queens to pass over and join this queen down here. Now it's not as easy as it sounds. We start with pile number one. First of all, we need to reverse the order of the queens to get the first queen to the top. So there's the first queen. Now what we're gonna do is what's called a front pattern. Again, it's an invisible one because all it allows us to do is to now get rid of the first queen. I have no queen here because, well, she's just vanished. Now, don't feel too bad if you missed that one because I actually missed it myself. What we'll actually do is we'll go into this pile over here. Again, just using the four cards. This time we're gonna do what's called a table pan, but if you pan it or split your fingers, then it's a big tip off and a dead giveaway. So you need to do a quicker table pan, which allows it to vanish, which allows you now to show that you just have the three red cards, and again, we have no queen. Now, pile number three is probably the most difficult one of the lot, because now everybody knows what is about to happen. So a magician's gonna think of different ways to get rid of the queen. So the queen is this time put into front palm, transferred to a back palm, back to front palm, to then be dispatched. Because all it does again is now allows us to lose the next queen. And uh, we have no queen again here, we just have the three red cards. So wouldn't it be now good if I could actually show you all of these four cards now to contain the four queens? Well, we'll give it a go. See, there's one queen. There's two queens, three queens, and the final and fourth queen. Now, my mate said to me, he said, Paul, that is one hell of a fantastic trick. I said, thank you very much. He said, you are welcome, my friend. He said, but have you ever tried going one further with it? I said, well, what do you mean by that? He said, well, you've got the queens to all transfer down here. Have you ever tried getting the queens to go back to their original places? And after sitting back and thinking about it, I thought, well, to be honest, I've never tried it before, but we can certainly give it a go to see if it does work, you never know. So what I did, what I did, <laughs> what I actually did was I took the first queen and I gave it a little snap and she disappeared. It meant now we're just left with one, two and three queens. Were you surprised? I took the next queen, I give her a little snap too. She disappeared, two down, just two to go. I took the next queen and give her a little snap. She disappeared as well. It just meant now we're left over here with one queen over here. We're left with another queen over here. We're left with another queen over here. And the final and fourth queen all back in their original piles. And that was called The Dyslexic Queens by J.C. Wagner. I thank you very much. And I think that's the end of it. I've, have we got time for one more, do you think? Is that it? Yeah, one more? Let's do one more for you. Okay, one final one. Now, this final effect, again, is an effect that doesn't need, need much talking over because it's all powerful and it's 